siding with a mission to make people smile and save the world from impending misery. Well, in recent weeks, the uh, mystery Batman has been spotted, uh, quite literally, hanging around some of the city's most iconic landmarks. And we dispatched Phil Brewster to see if he could find the man behind the mask. After months tucked away, Nottingham's very own Batman has emerged from his belfry. In recent weeks, he's been spotted, suspended at various locations around the city. But who is this Cape Crusader? First stop in our attempt to unmask him, this fancy dress shop in Nottingham. Sadly, staff here were unable to help, but reckon he needs to do more than just hang around. He's not fighting crime, is he? So, <laughs> Is he doing anyone any harm? No, I don't think so. He's, I think it's a good thing. He's out there to save the world, apparently. Yeah. So what's brought Batman out of hiding? According to his Facebook account, yes, even superheroes use social media, He's returned to save the world from impending doom by making us all feel more happy. Residents in Nottingham today had mixed views on his role as saviour of the city. I think he's a bit crazy. I bet to be honest, I think he's psycho. Well, everybody to themselves, isn't it? It's his choice, isn't it? It's free world. He's single, he's available and in the market for a cat woman. Ooh. Are you interested? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got a nice cat suit I could perhaps match him up with. <laughs> Today, Nottinghamshire's police and crime commissioner was unavailable for comment. But down at City Hall, jubilation at Batman's surprise return. Is it brilliant that you've got Batman helping you fight crime in the city? It's fantastic. We do lots of things in the city to try and fight crime. We put lots of fun events on and any help we can get from Batman is entirely welcome. Of course, Batman already has strong links with Nottingham. In 2011, Woolerton Hall doubled up as Wayne Manor for the film The Dark Knight Rises. Back in the city centre, though, we were still having trouble locating his latest incarnation. First, we asked his sidekick, Robin, before realising our fundamental flaw. Next up was the tried and tested bat phone. But that's the trouble with bat caves. Never a mobile phone signal when you need one. Finally, we got out the big guns and resorted to the bat signal. But despite the massive calling card in the sky, it seems our mystery man was otherwise detained. Sightings of this latest incarnation come months after the sinister Northampton clown became an internet sensation after dozens of pictures emerged of him standing in the town at night. He's now been unmasked, but our caped crusader's identity remains a mystery. Perhaps you know him or suspect you do. Here's a clue. He often wears his underpants on the outside. Phil Brewster, ITV News, Nottingham. <laughs> So. Yeah, we've all done that one time or another, haven't we? You know? <laughs> no, I haven't actually, Bob. Yeah, well, I, I think many years ago, it's in our vault somewhere, there's uh, me and my underpants on the outside, you know, and I, I'm in Gotham, you know, Gotham, Gotham, yes. Gotham, yeah, yep. uh, Gotham. doing the same sort of thing, really. Yeah. It's all very silly, but <laughs> a lot of fun. Well, that was obviously um, Batman. Yeah. He's driving everyone batty with his identity. <laughs> if you know, let us know, because we're going to be talking about it, aren't we, for a while.